it's me, Ariel. A long live of Frank Card. G A B B Y. Why are you on the bench? It's my thing. It's my thing now. Be quiet. Why did you move all the way over there? Now it's not nothing. That's what I said. She didn't want to listen. Get up, Gabby. Get up, Gabby. Um, this is not your show. It's not your show. It's not your show. Not your show. It's the yes. most high show. It's the most high show. It ain't my show, right? It's and it's show. directed by me. No, it's directed <laughs> by me. Shame. 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 Shame on you. We get to me. Like mom, we like we do. The first person to punish is your wife. First person to punish is your wife. I'm letting guys stop for a minute because we're a bit early. But up. Time, time. Oh, time's up. For real? Time's up. Okay. Shalom. Welcome to Many Saints of the Most High. This time is live. Y'all see my freaking. My name is Teacher Whitney or Teacher Katora or Sister Whitney or Sister Katora. And these are my mini saints that are here with me today. Ow, ow, We took ow, a long ow. break, but it was necessary for us to take a break. But now that we're back, we have a new friend with us. So let's do some introducing. Everybody sit up, hands to yourself. And today we're going to start with... We oh, the curtain is short. Oh, right there. Today we're going to start with the little cute girl at the end of the row. What's your name, little cute girl? Oh, Rose. Nice to meet you, Rose. Stop it. No. Nice to meet you, Rose. And um, how was your week this week, Rose? Because we get to play with Gabby. I get to cuddle with Gabby. And my, my book and my toys. Louder. I'll stop. And with all my stuff. I had a great day with Papa. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Thank you for sharing with us, Rose. I'm glad you could join us. And you, right there, little boy in the orange shirt that's inside out. Yes, you. My name is Toxic Overlord. Nobody can understand you. Toxic so Overlord. Toxic Overlord. I have one thing to say. And I don't want to hear the one thing you want to say, but I do want to hear how your week was. So would you share with me how your week was? My week was horrible. Why was your week horrible, Toxic Overlord? Because um, I missed a mirror. Because you missed a mirror. Oh, I didn't tell you. I saw them. They were on the ferry with me. A mirror was actually rolling a boat. Wait, and you didn't? I forgot. I just told you. I forgot. I'm sorry. Wait, you didn't talk to him? I talked to Will. I did talk to Will. What did he say? I'll tell you later. So, Toxic Overlord, your week is bad. Your whole week is bad because you miss a mirror. I do miss a mirror, and I miss Wilson. Okay, and I'm Miss Kenny. Kenny. My name is Amanda. No, I'm Miss Kenny. My name is Kenny. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you, Kenny. Okay, and next we have and Lone Star. Lone Star. So we've got Rose, Kenny, and Lone Star. And Lone Star, how was your week? It was good. It was my friend. I'm not going to say her name, but she came, and my week was also good and bad. It's because, well, my week was uh, as good as because we got to be in Paris and do math, Spanish, a bunch of things together. And my week was also bad. It's because I had a police study test. I, like I, I didn't even study, although I didn't need to study. It's because I got 100% on my last test. Well, it was a practice test, but I feel like I'm going to fail. Okay. Well, I mean, I think you've done really well on all your tests so far, so you'll probably still do really well. Okay. And finally, last, last but not least, it was very easy. Yeah. Last but not least, we have. What's your name? My name is. 
I like how you said it nice and loud. My name is Ice Cream. Ice Cream. Nice to meet you, Ice Cream. All right. So, Ice Cream, how was your week? Good. Oh, that's nice. And why was your week good, Ice Cream? Because I got to play with my friends, but at the same time, my week was bad. Why was your week bad, Ice Cream? Because... Because Kamari called me a loser. <gasps> Who's Kamari? I mean, that was not nice of him to I call mean, you a loser. Kenny. Mm, Kenny. Did you call ice cream a loser? She didn't say that um, Lone Star called her a brat. I didn't. Okay. Well, that's not nice to call people names, so we're not going to call anybody else any names, right? And the good part of my week was that I got to see Leilani be quiet. Amora and Naba and Ari and Whitney. Who's that? I mean, and, and, and Tay. Okay, well, I'm glad. I mean, DJ Boy. Oh, DJ Boy. Okay, I'm glad that you guys had a good and or bad week because you're still here. After all, hey, excuse me. After everything that went on this ring, you guys are still here. And I'm glad to see you, and that's a blessing. So we're going to get into our lesson for today. Yeah. Usually, yes. Got you. Got you. You're good to her, not mom. Oh, I got you. Well, I actually was thinking, I was like, why is he calling me mom? Because I don't have a Sunday kid. But anyways, uh, oh, yeah, and my week was good because um, I'm blessed and highly favored. And I released some new digital worksheets, which check them out after the Sabbath. They're super cool. Um, but yeah, most of all, I'm just grateful that I'm here and I have all you guys here with me in class and all you guys online here with me. And that to me is a blessing. So um, a lot of her worksheets were bad. Okay. So Katura Newman. So we've got another Katura. Yeah. Katura Newman says Shabbat Shalom, Katura and children from the Newman family. Newman. Right. All right. So this week, our lesson is making lemons into lemonade. Please put that away into our okay. class. Making lemons into lemonade. Who so likes lemonade? Easy. Raise your hand. Me. <laughs> Who wants a whooping? Not me. Right. So I think we all like lemonade. Lime juice. But here in Belize, we don't really have lemonade because uh, we don't have lemons. We have limes. So we have lime juice here, which tastes pretty much the same. So lime juice actually is my favorite juice. And she never lets us have right. But so we don't have a scripture remembrance for this week because it's been what I think it's been like six weeks since we've had class. It's been a very long vacation, but that's okay because this week we will have a new scripture remembrance at the end. So I hope you're ready and excited to study the word of y'all and memorize it. Can, can we say I'm part of our remembrance to get something? The one from school at the end. Oh, because usually. If they have their scripture memorized, then they get a piece of candy. But since we don't have scripture remembrance, they can't get a piece of candy. But at the end, they have scripture remembrance from school. And if they can do a good job, then they can have it. Right? Our friends, our friends, uh, Johanna, the little girls that go to school with you guys. She, Johanna's here. Say hi, Johanna. Who's Johanna? Remember the lady in the red band? Her daughter's red oh. band. The red, the, well, her mom has a red band. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 So, anyways. So, this week, we're going to be talking about how to make lemons into lemonade. So sometimes in life, we're placed in situations that we don't like or don't want to be in. They're uncomfortable, and they smell. They're stinky situations, right? Has anybody ever been in a situation like that where you just you were not happy about what was going on? I know I have lots of times. Kamari should be raising his hand because actually this lesson I got from, I mean, uh, Kenny. His name's Kenny today. I got this lesson from Kenny because Kenny was having a smelly attitude about a situation he was in at school, right? So do you think that um, in those situations, I want everybody to picture a situation, get a situation in your head, right? A time where you just were very unhappy with, with, with 
you were unhappy with what was going on, right? Do I teach you to you about it? That was something you were doing before. Let's not start it again. Raise your hand if you got something to say, right? Do you think that there is anything in that situation that you could have done to make it better? And if you have something, let's share it. Raise your hand and then you can share it. Okay, I love the way you're raising your hand, ice cream. So ice cream, what is a way, tell us about the situation and then tell us about how you could have made the situation better. So when I was at school, and Louder so I can hear you. When I was at school and I told my mom to, that I don't like school and and I was mad at my mom for, for not for, for not asking my teacher sooner. It was at recess and I only had um, five minutes until recess was over and then I had to go back to class and I told my mom to, to replace me out of out of she, you told her to delete you, <laughs> to delete you from school because Yabi yeah, used to go to uh, online school. So her saying delete me from school is actually really fun. All right. So how could you have made that situation better? By saying that, by saying that, that, um, that school is kind of fun because I get to see my, my friend Ella and also my friend named Michael. That was a perfect example, Gabby. Thank you for sharing and that with us. Also my my friend named Ella. Mm -hmm. My friend named Crystal. My friend named Emery. There was two Emery's, one yeah. of you have so many friends. One that's a girl, one that's a boy. Okay. We're gonna let Nava go. Basically down. the whole entire class is my friends. That's good. That's a perfect example of how you could have made it better. Okay, way down there at the end, little girl, her name is Rose. Okay, Rose, tell us about the situation and tell you tell us about how you could have made the situation better. Why are my friends really mean to me? And it made me sad. Uh-huh. And so how could you made that better? Like my teacher talks to my friend. You, you told your teacher so she could talk to your friend? Uh, Ari told my I can't speak. I can't hear you. Stop that. Speak uh, up. Ari, my sister told my teacher. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Ariel, go ahead and share your story. It's a long story. So okay, nope, nope, nope. Do you guys want to hear a long story? We don't want to hear a long no, story. No, 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 no. Make it a short story. Come on. So I was annoyed, and so he was doing something, and then I, a said that I'm gonna tell him, and and then he didn't want to, and I, and I, and I could have made the um the situation better. Look at the camera, so I can hear you. So my brother's annoying. No, that you could have made the situation better. How? Look at the camera. By not saying that. By right, not saying you're gonna tell him. Okay, Kamari, did you want to share something or no? Okay, we'll talk about that later. Okay, right. So in the world, they have a saying, not like the saying is bad, right? But just it's just not a biblical saying. But in the world, they have a saying that if life hands you lemons, make what? Lemonade. 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 What do you think um, this means? Who thinks it? Raise your hand. Good job raising your hand. What do you think it means? Um, if, if something happens wrong, um, try to make it right. Try to make the best of it. Okay. Anybody else? Go ahead. Uh, ice cream. If, if something bad happens and you see, uh, and if you're sad or or mad, there's a, always a way to make it better. Yep. Good one. Uh, Rose. Uh, if somebody's sad, I guess their friend had to leave. They always just make them feel better. Yep. That's make lemonade. You already share. Yes, um, Lone Star. Um, when you're in a situation like that. I can't hear you. When you're in a situation like that, um, don't forget about the most high. And just Ooh, mm -hmm. good answer. I like, have faith. Yep, I like the answer. Good answer. Mm -hmm. So I love lime juice or lemonade, but if you hand me a lemon, I'm going to be like, um, 
What do you want me to do with this, right? Because I don't, I don't really like lemons by themselves. So there's, um, can you guys think of any scripture, right, that kind of matches if life hands you lemons, make lemonade? Can you think of a scripture you can think of one? The, the, the scripture uh, uh, um, Adam and Eve, when, when they did something wrong and they tried to make something right. Oh, when they ate the fruit and then they knew that they were naked and then they tried to cover themselves up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you could use that. That's, that's good. I like the way you're thinking. Stop doing that. Please, please move it and get your feet off of it. All right. So there's not really a direct scripture. Like sometimes we can, like we have, uh, what goes around comes around. Remember when we talked about that? When they call it karma, right? Go ahead, say it. But what's the... Read what you say. Read what you say. That's the scriptural parallel. But there's not a scriptural parallel for this, but there's a lot of things that we see in the Bible where it shows us how we can make lemonade out of lemons. So first we're going to go to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11. And we have um, Jocelyn watching with us. Hi, Jocelyn. Hola. Hola, amiga. Hola, mi amiga. Mi amigo. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11. Mm, I don't know. Kamari, you do not have your finger on scripture. You're yeah, still so searching. You look, look, Kamari, right, I mean, look uh, at my, look at Kenny my is cheating. Kenny look, is like, he's like. No, look, when I have, I have my, when I have my finger uh, like that. My we're going to, we're going to, I think, who do you guys think one? I think Lone Star one. Sit down, sit down, uh, ice cream. Um, Jocelyn. Um, now. Now, no, no chastening. No, no chastening for mm -hmm. the president. Present. Present cement that seemeth. seemeth to be joy. Mm -hmm. But grievous. Grievous, nevertheless. Nevertheless. Nevertheless, afterward. It yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto those on which they ex exercise their mind. Yes. Their so chastening, right, is like a whooping. So in the present, when you're getting a whooping, it doesn't seem good. But what does it yield? It says it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. So when your parents are punishing you, most times, I'm almost certain it feels like lemonade and not like candy. Who gets a whooping? It's like, oh, this is like so pleasant. I love it. Who gets? Who loves getting whoopings? Not who me. wants a whoop? Not me. Right? Nobody thinks that getting disciplined, whether it's a spanking or whether you're getting fussed at or you're getting rounded, nobody thinks that that's a great thing, right? It's probably it feels. Robbed. It probably doesn't feel very good. Even adults, when the Almighty is chastising us. It doesn't feel good. Definitely doesn't feel like candy, right? Candy. But are your parents punishing you just to be mean, or are they trying to teach you a valuable life lesson that will help you throughout all of your days? A valuable um, life lesson. A valuable life lesson. That's right. Thank you. You know what? I really like having you in my class. I should, you should come more often. You're amazing. Hmm. 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 I was going to say. No, you were being silly. Okay. So not everyone has op what? Hmm. So everyone has options, right? You have the option to make lemons or you have the option to make to lemonade. Make lemonade, right? Lemonade. When your parents are when your parents are giving you lemons, you can take the lemons and throw them at your parents or whoever's making you mad, you can throw the lemons at them. You can squeeze lemon juice in their eye or you can take lemonade. Or you can take the lemons and do something productive with it, right? Yeah. And make lemonade. 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 Lime juice. Lemonade. Lime juice. Lemonade. Lime juice. I like this kid. She's lemonade, awesome. Lemonade. Lime juice. So just so you know, life is going to be full of lemons. Like serving. Sometimes people think that, oh, I'm serving the most high and life is going to be all great. And nothing's ever going to happen with me. Lemon. 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 
uh, that's not how life works. Even when you serve the most high, you probably get more lemons when you serve the most high than when you are in the world because Satan doesn't want you to serve him. So he's going to be throwing stuff at you to make you fall off your steadfastness, right? So um, y'all better get your hand muscles ready to be squeezing because y'all going to be squeezing a whole lot through life, making all kinds of lemon, lemon juice and lime juice. We're going to go to 2 Timothy 12 and 2. Second Timothy 12 and 2. Second Timothy 12 and 2. Oh, oh, sorry, I lied. Second Timothy 2 and 1. Second Timothy 2 and 1. Second Timothy 2 and 1. I'm confused. Second Timothy 2 and 1. Go ahead, uh, Lone Star. Thou, therefore. Nope. Second Timothy, are you in First Timothy or Second Timothy? Second Timothy. 2. Yes. Chapter 2, verse 1. Yeah. Thou therefore my son be strong in the mm. grace that look. That is right, but that's not what I have here. <gasps> Second Timothy two and twelve. <laughs> Second Timothy two and twelve. Second Timothy two and twelve. <laughs> mommy, mom, 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 you Sorry. need money. Jesus says, Shalom. Okay, go ahead, Lone Star. If we suffer, we shall also region rain. So rain. Don't, don't do that. Rain with him if we deny him, and will also be deny us. You will also. How you say deny the right the first time, the second time you say deny. Wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> right. So if we suffer, we shall also rain with him also reign with him because Christ suffered where? On the cross. On the cross or on the stake, right? And so he suffered in like manner. We also have to suffer. So we just need to know and be prepared in our mind that we will also suffer. So it doesn't mean that life is going to be all bad. Like, is our life all bad? No, there's some bad things that happen, right? But our life is relatively good, right? The Almighty blesses us. So. That's why we have this peaceful living. Yes. But being prepared is important. Kamari, I've asked you to leave it alone. Please move it out of the way. It, it tells us to be prepared so we can watch it pretty so that the leaf bug catches on more like this coronavirus. Right, it does. It's it says annoying. it says watch and pray so that the days don't catch you unaware. That's a part of being prepared, right? So it's important that to be prepared if we want to succeed. And this is how we're gonna do it. We're going to fortify our minds. Everybody say, fortify my mind. Fortify, fortify my, my mind. mind. Right? Uh, so what do you think fortify means? Prepare. Build, build up our mind. To like protect it and build a fort. To protect it and build a fort. Good, good job. To be prepared and prep and watch these days so these days don't catch us on air. Okay. A um, good force. Ice cream. The, that you have to shield your mind with 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 the Most High Yeshua. Yep. All you guys have good answers. So the word fortify means to like. Uh, strengthen, like to like say you had a wall and the wall was kind of our fence, right? Our fence is kind of weak. Well, how will we strengthen our fence, right? We put down new stakes in the ground, right? And tighten the fence up and that would fortify our fence and that would keep our dogs from getting out. So when you fortify, you're making it stronger and usually you fortify against an attack. So like you say, your enemy is coming. You don't want to have a weak wall when your enemy is coming because then they're going to knock your wall down and break in and then kill everybody. So you got to fortify your wall, and we have to fortify our mind because who's the enemy who wants to break us down? Satan. 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 It says right that Satan wants to sift us as wheat, and we, who wants to be sifted as wheat? Raise your hand. Nobody. What about you? I see you. <laughs> right. So we don't want to be sifted as wheat. We have to fortify our minds. So how do we fortify our minds? By putting a bunch of creepers into our wall, and when they hit it, then it blows up and kills the whole army, and then you just rebuild it. No, and put your knee down. So it has nothing it's to do with It's my fortified knee. Well, I'm going to unfortify your knee with my fortified belt. <laughs> um, so no, it has nothing to do with creepers, and it has nothing to do with Minecraft. Get it. Hey. I mean, uh, ice cream. Aurelia says shalom. That, that's yes. you, I got you. Yes. That you have X, to. X, that you have to fortify your your mind by by making your gate 
I'm something stronger, mm -hmm. like concrete. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, oh, it's and 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 also concrete and the, the name of Yahshua. Okay, I like those answers. Yes. Don't be the uh, wall of concrete, bedrock, or anything. Bed out of the wall of Yeshua. Okay. Or Yeshua's name. You guys are getting closer. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Kenny. Reading and praying and doing what the Yah's will is, and to build your, um, your thing on the mountain, to don't build it on the sand. Get it? You guys are like hot, hot, hot. Okay. Uh, Rose. Uh, hot you tamales. Can, you can, you can use. Oh, you need some concrete, you will go into the danger. Okay. All right. So the actual answer that I was looking for, which um, Kenny kind of said it, was the word, right? The Second word. Corinthians 10 and 4. Second Corinthians 10 and 4. Are you sure do, this do, is do, correct? Do, 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 do. Second do, do, Corinthians do, 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 10, 10 and 4. 4. She is kicking your butt today. I don't care. Okay. Apparently. Go ahead. For the weapons of our where oh warfare, warfare I, are not carnal but mighty <laughs> through yeah to Go the ahead. point now strong. So the weapons are warfare are not carnal but mighty through Yah to the pulling down of strongholds. Right. So what uh, ice cream said is she was talking about. Like physically, she put y'all in there, put you know, for uh, y'all to be on his name or his something, y'all to be a part of the concrete wall. But when we're fortifying our minds, we can't fortify our minds with things naturally because we're gonna put stuff in our head or we're gonna put like a helmet on. I guarantee if you put a helmet on, that's not gonna keep bad things from coming to you in life. So it can't be something physical, it's gotta be something spiritual. So our weapons can't be carnal. So should I use a gun to fight my lemons? Here's my lemon. <laughs> Is that gonna fix it if I use a gun to fight my lemons? Okay, what about a knife? I'm gonna stab my lemons. Uh, 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 uh. Is that gonna work? No. You know? What about a bomb? Okay, a grenade or a bomb will definitely work against my lemons. I'm gonna like, bombs away and throw bombs no, on the What about TNT? Well, what about well, dynamite? Well, this, it, it, what about fireworks? Yeah. Okay. But okay, uh, uh, back to what I'm saying. Um, depends. Um, yeah, like you shouldn't have bombs and stuff in, in uh, knives and stuff in your house. It all depends on what you're dealing with. Can, can we? Uh, we are in class. No, y'all are doing too much. Yeah, right. because if we're if you're doing dealing with suicide, then you shouldn't really have all that stuff in your house. You should get rid of it. Yeah, but the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, so they have to be spiritual. So all of those things I mentioned are things that are carnal. There are things that are naturally in this world. What about a sword? Could I use a sword? Yes, I know. You yes, uh, Rose. Uh, you can copy Kyle from the knife. I can carefully cut my lemon with a knife? And then do what? Make lemonade? Yes. Okay. Wait, good. I, I know. Uh, no, I know. Good You're talking though. Uh, I don't think people who raise their hand to talk. I don't think people who raise, raise their hand nicely. Can they sit there and play? Yes. That that you don't need knives or anything in your house. You need you need to all you gotta do is pray to Yahshua in Yahshua's name and tell him to go and win in Yahshua's name. Okay, good job. You know when you did that project when we were talking about the word is our sword? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, something like That's something right, like she that. got it, right? So we could use a sword. Oh. I'm sure most people probably, when they thought sword, they were probably like, uh, no, you can't use a sword. Yes, sir. You can make lemonade by playing like the fruit slicing thing and like they throw food at you. Uh, we're not talking about fruit ninja, right? <laughs> I'm sure most people, when, if I were to say sword, Right, they would think like a natural sword, but then again, that would be naturally, and we cannot use natural things to fight spiritual things. So, a sword in the natural would not work, but our spiritual sword, right, would work. Hebrews 4 and 12. Thank you. Remember, right, like, get your hand up, right, right. Hebrews four and twelve. Hebrews four and twelve. Do 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 do. Hebrews four and twelve. 
you look weird. You look like a, um, he's like, go ahead, Kimmy. <laughs> for a win, for a win, for, for the no, time. No, 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 Four and 12. He was four and 12. <laughs> four and 12. Oh, I was like, wait. Can I go back some more? Oh, yeah, I was at there. For, see, four is the, it's still the same. Mark, no, for, the, for the world of Yah is quick and powerful and sharp, quick, wait, um, sharp, or then a two edged sword, sword pierced even to the dividing as, asunder? asunder of a soul and spirit of. And and okay, for the word of Yah is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So usually a sword has one side, but a two-edged sword means there's like a sword out this side and a sword out that side, right? So it's super sharp, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit. Kamari, no water in class, and the joints and of the joints and marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, right? So you guys are right on it. The word is like a sword, and that is what we're gonna use to prepare our mind, to fortify our mind against the limits in life. No bombs, no guns, no firecrackers, no TNT, no naturally no sure. Minecraft zombies, none of that. Just okay. this word, right? So now we're gonna um and songs. Chicken wing, chicken wing, fuck up them. Thank you. Right. So we're going to use y'all's word to help us make lemonade out of stinky situations. So let's go to Hebrews 12 and 14. Not 12 and 4, 12 and 14. This is how we're going to make. I gets to do is because somebody wrote the page. Okay. This is how we're going to make. Lemonade with y'all's word. Let's make some lemonade while he's reading. Everybody, squeeze your lemon, squeeze your lemons. Let's make a lemonade. Go ahead. Follow peace with all men and honest, honest, holiness, without holiness, without which no man shall see the lie. Yes, yeah, so follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. So if you're always fighting and contentious with people. And you're always, you're always not seeking peace. Are you going to see the Lord? No, nope, because it says without, hey, hey, stop it. It says without these things, you're not going to see the Lord. So this scripture will work great in situations where the lemon is a person or persons, right? What are some ideas you can come up with to overcome lemon people? So let's say we, everybody, we were in a situation, we got a lemon person and they're bothering us. How can we make lemonade out of the lemon person? Um, um, ice cream, sit down. Uh -huh. How can we make lemonade out of the lemon person ice cream? That, 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 making lemonade out of the lemon person is the part, is the lemon person making lemons, but, but by calling the name of Yahshua. Yeah, so you could like pray about the person. That's a good idea. Okay. Um, Lone Star? Uh, we can make um, lemon, may, uh, the lemon person is by telling my teacher. By telling your teacher? Okay. That could kind of, yeah, it could work. Aurelius or uh, Jocelyn, do you guys have ideas of how to make lemonade out of a lemon person? Um, Kenny, how do you make lemonade out of a lemon person? Um, I like that. I guess kind of like my idea. Okay. Um, Rose, how do you make lemonade out of a lemon person? You're gonna squeeze them. You're just gonna go up to them and be like, "You're being mean." Squeeze, squeeze. No, squeeze, no, no, no. You grab them. You grab them by the neck and be like, "Rip off their mouth and cord." Uh, yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. That's not a good idea. Okay. And so my idea was kind of like Kamari's, right? I mean, like Kenny's, which is, which is to be nice, right? 
Because if somebody's being mean to me and I'm being nice to them, sometimes it makes it hard for them to be mean to you. Like, how can I be mean to this person who's being super nice to me? So all those were good ideas of how to make lemonade out of lemony people, right? Thanks for the Shami Cone peanut butter jelly sandwiches for kindergarten stuff like this. Okay, First Timothy 6 and 6. So what do I mean by making lemonade out of a lemon no, person? So a lemon person, teammate. a lemon person is a person who gets on your nerves or is causing you to not be happy in a situation. So I was asking if you had somebody that was bothering you, how could you make the best out of that situation? Because the whole concept is taking lemons and making lemonade. So the lemon is the person, right? You're getting on my nerves because you keep poking me. How am I going to turn the situation good? Well, I can first, I could break your fingers, but then now I'm going to be in big trouble. So that's probably not making lemonade. Or I can say, hey, why do you keep poking me? I don't like that. Can we find some other way to play? And then maybe that might work out. And that would be me showing them kindness and communicating with them and possibly be trying to befriend them. So that was my way of making lemonade out of a situation where somebody is like poking me or something. So can you think of one? Uh, Gia says, avoid the lemon. Yes, you could avoid the lemon, but sometimes you don't have a choice. You just have lemons in your lap. Okay, First Timothy 6 and 6, go ahead and read. Thank you. Stop behaving, misbehaving. But y'all. Godliness? Yali. Godliness? Godliness. Oh, yalliness. Oh, okay, that was cute. She said yalliness. Okay, go ahead. Yalliness with contentment is great gain. Yalliness with contentment is great gain. So Aurelia says, I'd ask the person to stop nicely. And if the person doesn't stop, then I would walk away. Good job, Aurelius. So we can use this scripture where godliness with contentment is great gain to help us make lemonade where, when, when we're in a place we don't want to be. And this was Kamari's situation because his teachers sit down, turn around, face the front, sit down, everybody sit down. It's okay. Sit down, relax. Kamari's teacher moved him by some people he did not want to sit by. He was like, they're losers and they're not fun and I don't enjoy them. And he was just complaining, complaining, complaining. And I kept giving him suggestions. Why don't you find something in common with them? Why don't you try and befriend them? Like, who cares what people think that we're maybe they're really nice people give them a chance and he just kept complaining 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 and i was trying to help kamari make lemonade did you ever make lemonade or you just had lemons the whole time mm. are you you're still sitting by them right no oh she I, 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 oh and and she moves them like every two weeks so i was like you only have to do this for two weeks but um, okay I made lemonade. Turn around and speak louder. I made lemonade with it and the, 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 the. Turn around and speak louder. I made lemonade with it. She moved me by a bunch of Spanish people, which are the same people that I didn't like, and they always talk Spanish and they keep talking Spanish around me. And it's annoying. So, okay, so in that situation, right, he's annoyed because he sits by a bunch of kids who only speak Spanish, or not only speak Spanish, who speak Spanish and they speak Spanish around him. How could he make lemonade out of the situation? Oh, no. Learn Spanish. If anything, learn from them. When they are saying things, try and pick it up and learn the language. So then when next time you say, they by the way, you talk about me, by the way. That's okay. That's why you learn Spanish. And when they talk about you, then you show up and speak Spanish to them like, oh, he knows what we're saying. So that's one way that you can make lemonade out of that situation. But luckily, again, he's only going to be there for two weeks. So sometimes... That could just be holding on hope. Like, I only have to deal with this for two weeks. I only have to deal with this for two weeks and have a good attitude about it for two weeks. So that was why we actually are teaching this is because of that situation with Kamara. But what, so, happens if, what happens if you try to make lemonade, but then, like, when you try to make lemonade, then things just get worse? Well, then make a lemon pepper chicken. Make something else. Try again. If at first you don't succeed, you throw them in the garbage. No, try, try again, right? So uh, back to what I was saying. So sometimes we're in a place that we don't want to be. Think on these things when you're somewhere that you don't want to be. Are you dry? Are you safe? And are you healthy? And if you answer yes to those things, then you're probably okay. What are some ideas? Because some situations you're not okay in, right? I'm not saying if you're stuck in somebody's trunk and you're being kidnapped. 
yeah. that's not a good situation being yeah. in. But if you're dry, safe, and healthy, then what are some things, some scriptures, I'm sorry, what are some ideas you can come up with to help you overcome limiting places? <laughs> Aurelius or Jocelyn, do you have ideas for coming o overcoming limiting places? Rose, what's an idea of overcoming a place that you don't want to be in? Uh, like this, when you, you have to go to other place. Okay, maybe get up and move to another place. Yeah, if you have the ability, but sometimes you don't, like you're in class. Okay, ice cream? Uh, that's when sometimes when when my teacher moved to me next to a, to the person that spoke bull, bully, and I asked my teacher, can I sit somewhere else? And my teacher said, says, no, I I just, um, I just try to make friends with the bully. That's a great way of making lemonade out of lemons. I forgot mine. That's a great way of making lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> What you forgot the problem? No, it's no longer a problem. So it's, you don't you got don't gotta worry about it. You don't got lemons anymore. What's a good way of making a lemony place into lemonade? Like Ariosa just forget it. Like Ariosa just I, forget I, I, it. I had a dumb idea, but okay. Uh, uh, Aurelia said, in your situation, Kamara, use a translator. Gia says, won't cause friction. I but would, would friction use Alexa. Gia. Okay, so next we're going to go to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 and verse 32. But this actually, this next section has a lot of scriptures. A lot of scriptures. But we're just going to talk about it. Ephesians chapter 4. Now watch out, baby. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31. That's rude. Ephesians 1. Ephesians chapter 4. Verse what? 31. It's in the Bible. You're too far back. Okay, go ahead. 31, 32. No. Let the all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor, clamor and evil speak. Speaking, but be away from you with all mm, malice. Malice. I'm occupying. And be ye kind, kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Yeshua sake. Have forgiven you. Okay. Next one is Colossians 3 and 23. So let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be away from you with all malice, right? So get away. These are all things that we should not have. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as Yah. Colossians 1. Colossians 3 and 23. For Christ's sake have forgiven you. Go ahead. And whatsoever ye do it, do it heartily to the Lord and not unto me. I remember this. Yes. So based upon these two scriptures, does anybody have an idea what this one might be about? It's some kind of lemony thing. Ice cream. Or do you? Yeah. What do you think this next topic is going to be about? That's, that, that's you have to to make lemons with the people that you don't like. Yeah, that was last one. These scriptures about overcoming self, this is the biggest one because we sometimes are our own worst enemy, right? Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speakings be away from you with all mouths. Get those things away from you. Overcome those things. Sometimes we can get our own life in a bunch just by our attitude. Right? So can you guys think of a situation where you just had a bad attitude and the bad attitude made things worse? 
So, Malvi, you're out of the camera frame. Can you guys think of a situation like that? I know you should be able to think of like 500 trillion situations like that. <laughs> Stay having a bad attitude, right? <laughs> Nobody? Nobody's got an idea of a time? Okay. Well, you're bad or really your, Oh, your bad attitude mm -hmm. made the situation worse? I just kept playing an Ariel and I got banned from breakfast. Oh, when you kept telling an Ariel and you got banned from breakfast? Yep. Bad attitude, right? Did you know it takes more? Okay, go ahead, ice cream. Um, that that when when I when I uh, when I'm at school and and I and I have to leave and I clear myself to swing when my mom tells me um to get off and we have to leave and then when that. I just make my situation worse that I that and then I can't go um somewhat fun with my mom. Okay, yeah. So it takes more muscles for you to frown than it does for you to smile. A smile is contagious. So let's all try smiling. Let's next time we're feeling lemony. Everybody frown? That's a frown. That is a weird looking frown. Your frown is upside down. So next time you're feeling all frowny, try smiling. And it'll make you smile, and it'll make the other person smile, and then everybody will be feeling good. Now when my mom me, um, yells at me, I'm like. And I'll be like, fix your face. Fix it right now. Smile. This is all I do, put my cheeks into my mouth. <laughs> so uh, where am I at? Um, Jeremiah. Nope. So last but not least, sometimes we are in limiting situations by things that we have created because of sin. Of course, we have to talk about sin, right? So like literally, we went over to the lemon tree and we're like, hey, this is a nice lemon tree. And we picked some lemons off the lemon tree and we went back and sat down and we're like, eh, I don't like lemons. I hate lemons. But like, well, now you got lemons because you went over there and picked the lemons off the tree. And that's what it is with sin, right? Where we create our own bad situations because of our own choices. So by then, it's too late. You got these lemons. You already have to, you, uh, you got these lemons because you sinned. So what are you going to do? How are you going to make lemonade out of these lemons that you willingly went to go pick? So if your mom says, don't eat the cookies out the cookie jar. Everybody knows about the cookie jar. And you go over to the cookie jar and you get you a cookie and you eat the cookie. And your mom says, hmm, I know I have five cookies in this jar. I didn't eat any cookies. Now there's only four shame. cookies left. And say you only have one child. Then you look at your one child and be like, did you eat a cookie? Hopefully they'll just be honest and say yes, but they may lie, right? Now you're in trouble because you put yourself in a situation because you went over there and got lemons, right? So how are we going to make lemonade out of the situation? First, John. Two and one, yes. Well, uh, I guess ice could, cream. I guess you could do nothing. Just ice yes, ice cream. I always have that, dumb answers. That you can't like for if sure. Like if your mom has sure. chocolate covered strawberries that you love, or some or your favorite cookies, mm -hmm. or something, and then I and then you have it inside of a jar, then that then you're then you only have. Two kids, and then the one of the kids eat it, and then one of the kid, and then the and then the kid that ate the that um, one uh, blames the other kid. That could happen. And but... then and then the other kid said said that is a is a more gooder kid, but the, because the other kid done stuff like that lots of times, that. Then the other kid, then the kid that ate that ate the strawberry, the chocolate covered strawberries, is in trouble, and the other one gets ice cream. Yep, because you reap what you sow. First John two and one. Go ahead, uh -huh. Lone Star. She put her hand. My in little her. children, children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not, and if any man sin, we have. An advocate, an advocate with this father, with the father, with the father Yeshua of righteousness. Uh huh. Right. So if we do sin, we shouldn't sin. But if we do sin, 
and we need to repent and we know that we have an advocate with the Father. Right? Second Chronicles 7 and 14. Chronicles is in the Old Testament. Old Testament. Is Pastor Vinny Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes, ice cream. That, that's when when you do something wrong, like like you get like you get like second kind of like you get caught from some from something that you did, and then and then you and then you lie to your parents lots of times. And when your parents find out, they they say that you have to repent by getting baptized. Yeah, but you can't repent to you're an adult, so that wouldn't necessarily work. Because what? when what you, do you mean you can't repent until you're an adult? Until no, you're you, adult. no, you can't get baptized until you're an adult. You could repent every time you sin. You should repent, but you can't get baptized until you're an adult. Because when you're supposed to be dead to sin, but as children, you're gonna keep making lots of mistakes and doing lots of things because that's just the way of a child. It says that a mischief is stirred up in a child. So go ahead and read. Um, what is your name? Uh, Kenny. Then the kings. Nope, Second Chronicles 7 14. I think he didn't hear. 7 14. 14? Yeah, I'm there already. You said 4. No, I pointed yes, at it. No. You, you looked at it. You said 4. Okay, so you looked at it though. Okay, go ahead. If my people, which call by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal, heal their land. Yeah. So if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways. So what do they do right there? Turn from they repented, right? Then I will hear them from heaven. I will forgive the mother's sin, and I will hear the land. So this is the way we take lemon lemons and make lemonade when we sin: is to repent and ask for forgiveness, right? And any and every situation we face in life, how we go through it matters. You can have your lemons and be mad and sit there with arms crossed, and I'm not going to do anything. I got lemons, and I'm so angry. Or you can take what y'all has put before you and make the best of it. Our mind is powerful. We can change the course of directions of what's going on just by changing the way we think. And the best way to change the way we think is to use Yah's word. Of course, their brains are so smart that we can see their prophets. Yeah. No. So in Kamari's situation that I spoke about in class, when he was frustrated about being sitting by sitting by kids he didn't like, Preston, Kevin, it doesn't matter what their names are. All he had to do was be more positive, right? Think more positively and try and find ways to connect with the kids he was sitting with. But just changing your mind would help the way he felt because he was very frustrated about the situation. So, yes, my love. That you. That's like if you get a lemon or or uh, if you get a lemon or or a strawberry and if you get like if you get a strawberry and a lemon you're like why do I have this, this strawberry and a lemon what can I do with one straw with two strawberries and and one and two lemons then instead of instead of being mad at what the most I gave to to, to you or they make to Instead, make strawberry milk lemonade. Yeah, yeah. Some people who be like, "Well, I have lemons, but I don't have water." Right? That's just a negative mindset. If I say, "Here's some lemons," and I say, "You can make lemonade," and they're just like, "Well, I don't have a straw. Well, I don't have a cup. Well, I don't have water. Well, I don't have." It's just they're just being so negative, right? They're being very, very grumpy. They're not even trying. Yes, um, Rose. I had a, you had a strawberry and had an orange. And then you got them making smoothies. Ooh, nice. Rose is going to make smoothies, right? So over everything, no matter what situation we find ourselves in, we have to give the most high <coughs> praise for everything that we do have, right? My car may be broken down, but I have my health. Or my, I might be getting kicked out of my house, 
but I still have my children and my husband, right? Philippians 4 and 11. Shoot myself. Almost. I'm almost done. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then we'll do our art project. Yay! Yay! Very thirsty. Me too. It's hot today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. I need a fan on. I need to eat it. Philippians 4 and 11. Go ahead, um, Lone Star. Not that I speak in respect of want for I learned in what so other states I am um, therefore to be content. Therewith be content, right? So no matter what situation I'm in, let me just be happy for the things that I do have. Romans 8, oh sorry, so fun fact about lemons, right? Sometimes lemony situations are stressful, but did you know that lemons can lower your stress? And if you squeeze lemon into your water, it can help you lose weight. So the same thing that people are saying they don't like actually is beneficial for them, which leads us into our next scripture and also our scripture remembrance, which is Romans 8 and 28. Romans 8 and 28. Roll on star. And we know that all things... Oh, and we, we know that all things work together for good to them and love y'all. That love y'all. That love y'all to them who are the called according to his pur purpose. Right? And we know that all things work together for good to them that love y'all and call according to his purpose. So in any situation that we find ourselves in, y'all can make it work out for our good. Think of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, right? The three little Hebrew boys from my book. They went into captivity. Everybody's like, oh, I'm a slave. Captivity is so horrible. But in that captivity, they served the most high, they were faithful, and then they became heads over all the land. Then they were put in a fiery furnace, and you could be like, this fiery furnace is some really bad lemons. I hate this fiery furnace lemon. But they didn't do that. What did they do? Pray. They prayed, right? They were taking their <clears throat> lemons, which was a fiery furnace. <clears throat> that was really disrespectful. Apologize. Sorry. They took their fiery furnace. I, do, I can see you. Right, they're lemons and they prayed and they made lemonade and then they came out, right, and made all the kingdom know that the most high Yah is the only Yah, right? He's the only God, and that only him should be served, right? So there is a way to take your lemons and turn them into lemonade, and knowing that everything, everything, some things, everything, everything, everything stop. Even the situation where we've been gone for a while. I have learned a lot and I have used the situation and I have made lemonade out of my situation, right? And I've grown on, I've become a better and bigger person because of the situation that I was in. Because all things were together for the good, for the good of them who love y'all and to them who are called according to his purpose. So do you think that you can have a fortified mind now? How do you think you guys have a fortified mind? By doing, doing what is right. By doing what is right. I want to sing a song. Okay, but right now I just ask the question. Um, 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 to make lemon juice out of every situation. His word. Fortify your mind with his word. We just went over all these scriptures to fortify your mind. Are you gonna have a fortified mind? Yes. Because you know his word, right? Yeah. And you're gonna be obedient to his will, right? Yeah. Yes. So now we're going to get ready for our art project. And while I get ready for our art project, you guys can get some water because you guys are so, so thirsty. And yes, things work together for my good. And I know that all things work together for my good. I like that song. That's by Judah Band. And it's all. It's like, I don't know, all things are together for my business. Look at that. I only brought that up. It's because of Romans 8 and 
28. Yep, and then there's also uh, 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 Sunday Best, right? Mm -hmm. That's also, that's why I like that song. There's a song called Sunday Best by a, a, a group called Surfaces. Go sit down. And it's I really surface. surface. Oh, it's surface. And I like that song because it just talks about, hey, there's going to be bad stuff that comes. And it's okay because you have a Sunday best. It's, it's okay. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do about it. So say whatever. All right here. So today, we're going to be making lemonade. So what you're going to need, can, can you put the Bibles away? Okay. Can you sit, can you put the Bibles away? Yes, now can you sit down? I want to it's okay. Okay, so nobody gets pink. Problem solved. So, uh, in the description, in the description, has everything you need. You're going to need a plastic cup or a, oh, I forgot those were in there. Thank you, Nava. Or a styrofoam cup, right? Styrofoam will work better, so then that way you can decorate it. It's kind of hard to see, but I have little designs up there on there. So, styrofoam cup. What you're gonna cut in half, but first you're gonna trace. Okay. First you're gonna trace. You're gonna take sit down. Be quiet. quiet in my face. I do not. Sit down, be quiet. Now go sit down. Thank you. It's okay. So you're gonna first take your cup. Take one piece of paper while we're doing this. Take one piece of paper, pass it down. You're gonna take your cup on a white piece of paper. Shh. Oh, actually, I didn't. this was just an extra one. Everybody take cream. That's what you guys want to say. You're going to take this cup and put on a white piece of paper. And you're going to trace the bottom of your cup to get a circle. And you're going to cut that circle out. And that's going to give you this. Right? This is what you're going to make your lemon out of. See how I have my lemon hanging over here on the side? That's going to be your lemon. So that's the first thing you need to do. Then, so everybody take a white circle. I already pre-cut theirs because it's just easier. Take a white circle and pass one down. There's extra, so just leave them on the table. Then you're going to take... Please give me a paper. Be quiet. Then you're gonna take your cup and you're gonna cut it in half. Snip, 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 snip. Try and keep your cup as straight. Try and keep your half as straight as possible, right? The other thing you're gonna need is a pipe cleaner, which the pipe cleaner is gonna be your straw, or if you have plastic straws, but I try not to. Shh, just leave them on the table. Just Ariel, you have one. Leave him alone. He's not bothering you. He's not bothering you. He's not bothering me. Now you're being a distraction. Stop it. Make some lemonade. Worry about yourself. So you're going to use a pipe cleaner, or if you have a plastic straw, you can glue it up here, but we just don't have any plastic straws, so we're using pipe cleaners, right? And you're going to glue your half cup. Everybody take a half cup. You're going to glue your half cup to your piece of paper. I use silicone glue because it was easier to get it to stay with the silicone glue. And after you glue it up here, then you're going to want to, especially if you're, if you're using plastic, you're gonna wanna put your cup first and then decorate it because then when you touch the marker, it's gonna get all messed up. So you're gonna glue your cup to your paper, then you're gonna do your lemon, and you're gonna cut your lemon and put your um, lemon in your lemonade, and then you're gonna glue on your straw. So a pretty simple, straightforward uh, project for today, because today we're making lemonade, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys all need to share and be nice. Actually, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna get two, I'm gonna get a plate, I'm gonna get some Q-tips. That way you guys can put the blue one. I don't know that. Uh, these are duck. Guys, should I lash the duck? You guys say, remember when we made those pro puppets at Lion Builders? Everybody please take one Q-tip and pass it down. <coughs> Stop it. No, I have to get me fast. Okay. Here you go. You guys can use take Q tips. Have the Q tips back when you're done. So I'm gonna have them take. They're taking their Q tips, and you're gonna put glue right on the edge of your cup. That's it. On this I didn't ask you to touch this. Glue down your cup, please. Yep, right on the edge. Get more glue. Don't be afraid to use glue. Yeah. Have some. Don't have big pumpkin pieces, but. Have a good amount of glue on your cup so that your cup will stick. Because you don't want your cup to fall off. You don't want your cup to fall off. 
You don't want your cup. You don't want your cup. You don't want your cup to fall off. Oh, I kind of did accident. It's okay. Mari, stop it. I'm trying to make my lemonade stand up. So you can see my lemonade. So we can cut yours. Kamari, leave. I just have I have one extra. Because my you but what are you supposed to be doing right now? Is that what you're supposed to be doing? I so if you're not you're not because there's glue on the plate. Ariel, use the glue right here. Say excuse me and do the tax because then you're gonna be far behind us. Nava, sit down, baby. Kamari, switch with her. Because you're not even interested in doing the project. Oh, uh, so now I'm going to take, while they're doing that, I'm going to take the pipe cleaners and I'm going to fold them in half because we don't need a full size pipe cleaner. We only need a half pipe cleaner. I'm going to cut them in half so that um, Somebody else they can make their straws out of the pipe cleaner. So, what color pipe cleaners did you guys want? Um, I want blue. I'm we already blue. said no pink because you guys are fighting over the pink. Purple, please. Yes, you can. Mario, what color pipe cleaner did you want? Red. Okay, Aria, what color are you getting? Do I have to put some, do I have to okay, put well some right here? Nope, only on the side. You don't have to put any on the top, just I, the side and the I, bottom. I put it on Did you put on the bottom? Okay. Right here? Yep. Do I stick it on now? Yep. Once you got your glue on, then you stick it on. Here you go, Nava. This is like, what is it called? Cotton candy. No, not in there, just in the edge. Can I have? Mm -hmm. I already did the edge. What? Wait, I know which one. Can I have blue and red? No. I was going to twist it and make it. I know. That's okay. I don't care. Could I have purple and blue? Then I want red and red. Can I have... Wait, okay. uh, Come on, blue down. Can next purple? No. No, but what other color do you want? I want... Can I have... Glue your it. cup on. Glue your cup to your paper. Uh, Mom. Can I light green, please? Yes, Nama. <laughs> Ariel, you said you wanted purple. So you don't want purple anymore? I do. You can have two. Stop being greedy. So what, you want blue and orange or blue and purple? Blue purple. Okay, there you go. You like my straw? Fix your face and make some lemonade. Because I wasn't even saying you could have two, and then I said you could have two, and then now I complain because that you got two. I wasn't. Complaining. Your face, what her face said. Her face said lemon, 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 lemon. She had a no, lemony face. I was just. Here, Nava. I was. Mom, this is not sticking. Okay, you're taking maybe a little bit too long. You got to glue it faster. I glued mine. You got yours glued down? Good job, Gabby. Nava, what happened to your other, to your other purple? So what? Do no, I, it should be two purple. Do I color the lemon? Yeah, lumen? but Gabby has one. Am I able oh, to color okay. the lemon? Uh, yeah, you can color your lemon here now, but now I'll stick my paper. Where's I want purple? Okay, I'll give you purple right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my first lemonade. No, don't don't put your lemonade in there. Okay. So now you're gonna, for a straw, I mean, you can have a straight straw, right? Or you can bend it, I, I bent my straw. You're gonna glue your pipe cleaner to your, you're gonna put your pipe cleaner in your cup. See? Yep. You're gonna put your pipe cleaner in your cup and bend it or keep it straight however you want your straw to be. Doesn't matter to me. I am sour. Well, that's what I should and then you guys can decorate your paper. You can decorate your lemon and decorate your um, decorate yeah. your uh, paper I and mean, decorate your cup. So again, I will wait till after you glue your. Um, I'll wait till you glue your cup on and then do your decorations so they don't they don't smear unless you have permanent markers, which I don't have permanent markers so. You do. They're up there. Yeah, I don't have like color permanent markers. Like all I have is um. You used to have some. All I have black. is. Uh, I have to like and stick this up. Hmm. Hey, I can have lemon. This one can stick up. Oh my. Yeah, get some. Put some fun. You just gotta put glue on one side. I you have a rainbow lemon. Put glue on the front side. You like my rainbow lemon? I love your rainbow lemon. It's beautiful. Now this so, looks like a straw. 
Then you can cut, oh, cut man, like a little, talking. cut a little uh, slit in your lemon Which and means? stick it on your, stick it on your cup. Okay. Glue it down. Can I use a pencil? Yeah. Like a regular pencil? I know where the pencil Here, that's what I think. I didn't actually do my lemon right. Usually it's like supposed to be straight, straight lines at the back. I didn't really do that so much. Okay, can you sit down with Kalei? Sit down. Have a seat here. Come sit here because I don't need him here. I, I already go. Well, then have a seat. Don't have to cut it too big. Just the back there. We can do the back side. Yes. Can you help me? Can you help me? Perfect, though. Mommy, can you help me? Yourself, you saw the sticky. You're sticking it all the way down to the bottom. You know how to do it. First, decorate. First, decorate everything else on your, on your, um, on your, on your picture, and then we'll do markers last. Okay, I'll just wait to do this. There we go. I'll put my lip in here just for now. I'm gonna put something here. I need. Okay, you gonna decorate your paper, Gabby? Here you go, Nama. Thank you, Mom. All right, now Where I think most of them are working mark? on their lemons. Where's that pink monster? Look, Mom. Mm -hmm. I'm sour. Don't eat me. <laughs> That's what her lemon is saying. I'm sour. Don't eat me. Thank you, Joanna. Johanna said, are you listening? Let's see. Ah! Uh, my cup says L. Draw, Can you guys uh, see? draw all your everything else on your on your paper first, ah. and then use the marker to decorate. Because I'm gonna give you guys markers to use. Okay, can you go sit down, please? I'm trying to. Show. I'm gonna give you markers to use. So don't worry about that. Okay. You see it? This is me at the end. If you guys can't see it. You can leave that there. Yeah. I'm gonna make a rainbow. You're gonna make a rainbow? Yeah, I was gonna use, do that too. All right. Okay, now I don't want to do a rainbow. I don't want to be fully. No, it's not gonna do like that. It's gonna be different. I'm gonna have pink and this part of my rainbow. Do you mind if I butter this? Can you can you work and not do like the seven million extra things? Can you please just color your background? Do whatever you're supposed to do. I'm having rainbow, and instead of red, it's pink. Mom, can I do lemon? Can I color two lemonade? Yes, sure. Yeah, but Mom, I want my, I want this to be green, and I don't want to use the other things. We right now are not working with markers. Make some lemonade and draw your background like I asked you to, and then when it's time to use the markers, then you can do that. We're not there right now, right? That's what I said, right? So then, listen, have a seat and color your background. Well, you can glue it, you still, and you can color it later, or you can just wait and color your background like I'm asking you to do. Yeah. Got my pink? Who needs pink? Mar, you've got a, uh, a Q-tip stuck on your... Uh... I don't know. Okay. Let me see your lemon. Oh, that's a nice lemon, Mar. Good job. I am. Glue your lemon down, too. Don't just put it on, put it on the side of your cup and then glue it down as well. Can you give that song back to us? No, of course you wouldn't. She would never. Are you going to draw your background? You see how I drew a background, or you can do whatever. I thought you used monkey. You can no, you guys use paper for it. That's why I give you guys a lot of paper so it would show up better. But draw your background and then you're gonna use marker on your cup. You have to use marker on your cup, but you can use pen colored pencil. Okay, colored I, I use marker on my background because they're my no, markers. Use all three. 
Can you use what, Nava? I want to use the back one and marchers too. Can I use three? No. No. I didn't, I, yes, Nava. I didn't say y'all can use my markers to the background because y'all like to waste marker ink. That's my, they're my markers. My, I am selfish with my markers because oh. y'all are disrespectful. Instead of 3D granny, you're a 3D mommy. Nope, y'all are disrespectful. Y'all not respect nobody's markers. Y'all be leaving the caps off, be kicking them all over the place. Having them all out of the box, which I can't talk right now because mine aren't in the box right now, but still that's not the point. Where's yellow? Like, I just gave you guys a box. You guys just took that box of markers out, what, yesterday? Where are those markers now? All over the house. There's three markers in there. There's a set of what, five? Wow. Six. Why yeah, don't we ever have any whiteboard markers? Huh? I was messing around with the mask. Why don't no, we have was... any whiteboard markers? Because y'all just be having a whiteboard marker all over the place and take the lids off. Yep. Look, we have... Well, I don't do that. I don't do that yeah. either. Yes, you do. <laughs> right now, my marker's on the bottom. It's none of your business. Come on, you need to decorate with the marker. You're ready to decorate your cup? So you already decorated your background? I'm ready to decorate. I'm almost done. I need to do one of the work. No, but you took my green. I need to sure, take your green. Put them all in the bottom. No, it's not the green back. Nava, can I have the green mat? Can you just wait? Nava, oh, she's not even using the green. Nava, give her the green, and you don't have the lid off the marker. See, that's my point. You don't set markers gave. down with no lid. Here. Okay. You like my rainbow, Ari? I'm going to use the markers, Yeah, I already put them on the table. Make sure you guys put the lid on the marker when you are finished with the marker. Do not have the lids on the floor. Put the marker lids on the back of the markers. Respect my macas. Okay. Show some respect on these markers. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You got like your own set of crowns and your own set of colored pencils. But these kids are disrespectful. That's why when I get me some poppy seed dressing, no gums are allowed. I don't care because y'all going to eat the poppy seed dressing in one day. That's why I have my own poppy seed dressing because y'all are disrespectful. I feel like mom's trying to make me feel offensive. You should be offended for being disrespectful. Now, I'm so done. I'll it one piece. In the, You're done with the rainbow? Well, in the middle, I'll be done. They just got to draw some clouds. Sounds like a plan, Stan, my man. You call her boy? No, Stan, my man's just the same, so I'm not really calling her a boy. I'm just saying. A Ryan? Yeah. That's it. Some clouds around. And don't be putting the wrong And now to draw the sign. Make a sure piece of paper. Just use uh, cut it out and use it. Draw sure. the word love and then I'm done. Wait, that's how it rhymes. Ooh, I love the flowers you put down at the bottom, Ariel. That looks very good. You guys done some great, some great work with your lemonade. Making lots of lemonade. I what? Is this your mom's marker? Yeah. That we're supposed to use on the cup? Yeah. Oh, yeah, girl. Now. Mm, yes. 
It's right here. You already used it. Yeah, but it, I want it dark in these colors. Hmm. Should I let her use my pink marker, guys? No. No. Yes. 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 Two pieces of this. Yes. Three pieces. That's because they just want to use it, too. It's a setup. I no. Said no. Yes. No. That's because you I say no. That's because you don't want to use I'm it. I'm done. You're done? You want to write your name on it? I'll write. On the back? Oh, and then decorate your cup, too. You going to put decorations on the cup? Mm-hmm. I need my new G A. This won't work. You just have to leave it. Don't rub I, it out. If I you spell, leave it, it will draw. I'm spelling the name that you guys always call me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You draw your decoration, and you, I mean, you draw it, and then you leave it. That's why I said glue it up at first, because if you're not using permanent markers, then it's going to um, rub out when you um, touch it. So if you glue it, then you don't really have to touch it anymore. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, you have the markers. Markers are on the table, so you have the table. Draw whatever you want on your cup. You can write your name on your cup. You can write, I high. Know. You can write, I love lemonade. I love lemonade. What are you writing? Hello. What are you going to write? Now I'd like you to ask me the orange. I wrote a little bit of the Show them the uh, What is that, a cat? No, it's a person. Uh, oh, okay. Those are his glasses. Yeah. Oh, hold it up. It's not my name. Let me see. But everyone wants to see. Everyone wants to see. Where is his? Oh, his mouth is on the side. Green. I would. I would need the green. I'm trying to make a rainbow, apparently. Yeah. You can glue on your uh, glue on your um on your uh your lemon. Are you? See, look at you. Not putting the lids on all the way. It's not on all the way. Look. What happened to the paper? If you need help, you do like this. Look. Like that. And you still need to glue it on your lemon so you can cut it. Cut the side. Get the scissors over there. Ask her out for the scissors. And then cut it. to the circle. Uh, there might not be any more. I'm here to Come on, please don't waste my silicone glue. I just bought that silicone glue. The last yeah. silicone glue, like, oh, I need glue at school. Um, I need glue at school. And you took my silicone glue at school. Never I got that. No, you didn't. Oh, my That big old huge thing of silicone glue? Oh, yeah, I gave that to my teacher. Wait, what? Disrespect on the streets, man. Just disrespect. And it'll be your own kids. It'll be your own kids. Be your own kids. You are a child. You need some more glue, Gabby? Yeah, Ask Mark for the glue because he's hogging it up over there. Don't be. You need some more glue. Mark. 
I want it orange. I need to eat. Eat. Oh, yeah. You need what? I need the scissor. Okay, but you have to be patient. That's right. Uh, I'll just put glue right there. Right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, you. Nasty. COVID. You're gonna put it on the side over there, you're gonna put it up front. Okay. That was, that was different. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. One day, yeah, put it on the front. Um, one day, Kamari has quarantine and he mm. deserves a spin. Let me see. Oh, is that supposed to be his hand? Yeah. Hold it onto the cup. Mom, you need to give my spring hand. I'll give you a spring hand. Why? I don't know. Because no chastisement in the present seems, seems good. Huh? No chastisement in the present seems good. But afterward, afterwards, you yield at the peaceable fruit of holiness. What? Boom! Mom. You need more glue, Gabby? Now look me at the glue, please. It's fine. This is perfect. Now I said it should drop. It did fart it. Yeah, I think that's Gabby, so she farted. This is Gabby's glue, so she farted, so make sure you don't use Gabby's glue fart. Or her fart glue. What is it, glue fart or fart glue? Fart glue. Glue fart. I don't know. Glue fart glue. Glue fart. Glue fart. Fart glue. I'm done. Good job. Wait, I'm not done. It's all supposed to. Okay. I need the glue. Can I? I already, okay, you guys. Know I already called the dark blue before you even grabbed it. She's been through the dark blue the whole time, sweetheart. Uh, I need the glue again. All right, guys. I love you. The yarn back. She huh? walks them all. It's the word. Right there's no more. There's blue right here. It says, I love Shabbat that one. Shalom, y'all. Hey, Katora Newman, we just doing our art project, but we're all finished. Well, they're going to keep working, but I'm going to end the video. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sabbath. Shabbat Shalom. And, and broadcast.